Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is part 7 of the Connect Me uh, video series. So, I've done a lot since the last video, but I haven't recorded it because <laughs> I haven't been at home where I could record it. Um, so, I've been working on it a lot away. Um, so, my bad about that. Uh, it's probably not going to be the last time I work on it without uh, recording it because, um, you know, I still do want to work on it. I just don't have the time to set up a recording and then post it. Um, so I can go over what I've done since then. I will try to make commits only when I finish a video. So, uh, let's see, manifest. I actually deployed to Android now. So I have to change the orientation to portrait. Um, new pack, I think this is new. You've seen this. Um, this is the, uh, or you haven't seen this. This is the uh, white grid. This is the white cell. And here's a refresh and a back arrow. You can barely see it because it's uh, they're all white. The three cells, and then I got these two stars here. These are. Uh, default icons you can find in the Android SDK. They're in data slash res slash whatever, one of the drawables. Um, so yeah, new stuff there. CM, this is the main game class. I uh, override resume here because I was losing the context and I was uh, all the textures were getting messed up. Um, so on resume, I just reload it. Uh, let's see, cell. Something new here. All right, since I'm using the white rounded rectangle now, um, I set the color manually here to something a little less saturated. And uh, let's see. So the color is, um, oh, and I made that. Um, so the colors here, red, green, and blue, are like this now. Um, and that's using this uh, not as in your face color. Um, let's see, timer. Uh, this is the size stuff where it looks like it's popping in animation uh, instead of just being there. Um, the drop, this is pretty stupid. I'm probably going to take this out. This is uh, when you finish the puzzle. <laughs> All the pieces like fall off. <laughs> I'm gonna take that out. It looks. I thought it was gonna be cool, but then when I put it in and then checked it, it looks. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take that out. Uh, what else? Listener stuff. Nothing really. Change the rendering. Um, red. It's new here, nothing really. Padding Y height. I set it lower, I think. It's not centered on the screen anymore. It's uh, slightly lower down, I think. Looks like it. Um, what else? Finish. I cleaned up a little bit. The drop stuff when you finish. Um, and I set the color of the background to this dark gray-ish sort of brown. That's, that's pretty much my primary color right now, since I'm using it for the header also. Um, level factory, you already seen this. Play state. Uh, right, so I moved all of the polling GDX input stuff into its listeners. So I had state. Um, implement input processor and then give it all those so that I can just override it from any of the state subclasses. And uh, when I create it, I uh, hmm, no, set it there. It's weird. Anyway, um, yeah, listeners there. I also made a listener class for the buttons, which are the headers stuff up here listener for the refresh button and the back button and I made the awesome uh, transition content 
made it all static for some reason. I thought that was going to help. That didn't really. Um, level item. This is, uh, what is this? This is new, I guess. Not tracked. Will be tracked. All this is new. Um, hmm. Yeah, the level item is for the list that I have here. So level item is pretty much just one box of this. It just contains a piece of text on the left and four stars image on the right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward image button. Use it for the uh, back on the header and the refresh. Um, click listener again, just another interface. Um, transition and two transitions to go along with it the fade and the checker transition. Um, let's see, level select. This is the big one. I'm going to be talking about this because it also has uh, scrolling on it. And since I couldn't use any um, platform specific live APK, uh, no, not APK, I was about to say APK, APIs, I mean. Um, I had to make my own, pretty much. That works slightly like uh, the list view in Android. Of course, I can't uh, reproduce it completely. Uh, let's see, Roboto Bold, I think that's the default Android 5 text font uh, header. Uh, again, this is just at the top, and all it is is a back button, a piece of text, and refresh, and possibly some stars image over there. Um, let's see, another font, list view. Oh, I should get rid of this. I was going to put the list view in its own class, <laughs> just like the Android list view, but uh, no, not happening. So, I'll just take it out. There's nothing in it. Anyway, uh, disappear, yeah, another Roboto level item, saw that, res, uh, yeah, content is gone, right, I replaced it with res, just so it's a smaller name, so, um, I'm stage all those as well, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna work on in this video, so I'll just start off by explaining the list here. Um, so I tried using the libgdx's gesture detector, but it was like conflicting with the input processor. I don't know, when I tried to use like the touchdown off of the gesture detector and then the gesture listener fling wasn't being run, I'm not sure what was going on there, but uh, I pretty much gave up on that and just implemented my own scrolling. Um, so I pretty much just use touch down, touch drag. Uh, wait, level select state. Where is it? Touch down, touch drag, and touch up to implement scrolling. So the way I did with the scrolling was pretty simple. Um, when I press down, I keep track of where I press down. And when I drag, I also drag the uh, list up and down wherever. Also, um, ooh, that's a little awkward there. Okay, anyway, I, uh, to do the flicking, I sort of keep a buffer of the last known mouse positions. So I think I use the last three mouse positions to average out what the velocity is. So when I flick, it just scrolls at that velocity. Um, it's not exactly like, oh, wow. Keep going there. <laughs> so um, it's not exactly the same as the Android scroll view or list view because I have no idea what they use for those. But uh, as for scrolling, it pretty much just gets the job done. Um, so yeah. And I didn't want to draw every single item, so I just kept track of the camera, where it is, and just drew... I'm drawing at max, like, nine of these at any given time. Um, so yeah. 
let's see. Uh, yeah, this is pretty hacky and unorganized. So if you want, you can just look through it. I'm. <laughs> it's pretty messed up uh, way to handle dragging. But uh, anyway, yeah. So I got the stars here. Um, what to do next? I'm gonna get rid of this drop because it's dumb. Uh, I guess the next thing to do would be to handle. Wait. So this is two stars, two out of four. If I click that, I should have two out of four here, right? Um. So I guess the next thing to do would be I I can already keep track of the number of moves that I took to finish. It's five. Um, so I need to figure out what to do after I finish a puzzle. I'm not gonna have the this thing. And should I go back? Um, are there animations I need to play? I need to show how many stars the player has actually earned for this one. Um, let's see. So if I do level one and I finish it, I'm going to have it stay here and then I'm going to have like a finish and then maybe I'll have like stars over here pop up um, or something. Not sure. But uh, yeah, so this is just an update video. I'm not, I haven't planned out what to do next. So yeah, <laughs> that's it. Thanks for watching.